everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Planet Coaster. Things are going pretty well. We probably could, uh... You know, I, I, one thing that people are suggesting a lot is like, hey, maybe you should add block sections in so you can run multiple carts on the same roller coaster. And, I mean, that's probably actually a great idea. I'm gonna hopefully learn about that off camera and then start doing it because, admittedly, these could be making a lot more money if we could just run two tracks at the same time. But the Prestige on Stealth is at a 1049. Ooh, the Prestige on the Real Yankee Doodle is a, uh... Uh, it must have just recently broken down and then reopened. Is a uh, 1107, so those are both like high quality coasters. Although I'll admit, Malfs has it going on. This is going to be a little bit higher prestige, I think, just because it's new as well. The queue for this is very long, just because of the fact. How much is this coaster being? 15 bucks? This is a 20 dollar coaster. Let's be real. Um, the queue for this is going to be very long, just because of the fact that it's running. Um, only one car at a time, and the ride duration is... How long? Three, well, almost, no, not almost three, but it's just over two minutes. That's quite a long ride, actually. Um, we still made money this month. And actually, our park is doing fine. Like, if you look at the money we have in the bank, it's ridiculous. I actually think we should try to make uh, the, uh, the extra block sections here, just so that we can actually create uh, a roller coaster that is a little bit more profitable because right now there's no excuse except ignorance for not fixing this track so um the roller coaster is great and i love it how do you introduce a block section utilities block section allows multiple trains to run on the track at the same time by stopping and holding them until the next section of track is clear for free sections to be available one more block section is needed than number of trains Chain lifts and the station act as block stations. Once added, block section mode can be turned on and additional trains added in the ride info panels operation, ride info panels operation tab. Can only be placed on straight, on banked, and downward sloping track. Okay. Um, well, delete that. Delete this. Hear me out here. Block section. Can only be placed, excuse me? Can only be placed on straight, on banked, and downward sloping track. Oh, was it sloped? It probably was sloped because I was doing that to reduce nausea. And then I guess we'll, we'll need to have like a drivetrain that takes you back to the start. But let's place this. There you go, get a block section going. Tomo! <laughs> Welcome, buddy. Welcome, Tomo. Okay, so now we've got the block section. And we should just auto-complete. Come on, that is actually ridiculous. Um, although, actually understandable. Let's. I'm gonna control Z a little bit here. I think we can do this more efficiently. You know what, the, the park's been going fine. Let's get some... Uh, some sensible, like, non-trial and error stuff going on here. So I think that this turn should be, like, wider. But we can start by adding a little block section over here. And it actually should... No, it's banked. There you go. You don't need to go up after that. Then auto <laughs> Okay, you know what? Here's how we're gonna do this. Select this piece of track right here. Drag this all the way back. We lost some money in the process here because I'm an idiot, but that's okay. All right. So what's what's the ticket? Delete this. Delete this. Yeah, we'll we'll take the L on the on the money. We're gonna bend them a little faster. Shorten this piece of track like to that. Straighten them out. Okay, then we throw down a block section. And I'd actually, I don't, I don't really care how long the block section is, I think. Then, we should just be able to drive train autocomplete. And then you go to the operations tab. What 
One second. Go back to edit track. We're gonna figure this out on the fly. O operations tab, the ride info panels operation tab, they can be turned on and additional trains added in the operation tab. Okay, done. Operations, block sections. We can now run two trains. Beautiful. Test it. Make sure that I didn't accidentally turn it into garbage that makes people throw up, like, to a ridiculous degree. Is it running a test right now? There we go. Start test. Here we go. It's finally launching. I don't think it should affect it much. I just hope that I've got it turned on properly here. And then we don't, I, like, this isn't a lunch loser situation where this ride being off is royally going to fuck with our park, I think. Um, whereas, you know, with a lunch loser, if, if the lunch loser was off, we were in hell. I just worry about this turn maybe causing a little bit too much nausea, but. I mean, it seems like it might be kind of bad. Why, why does this not just immediately launch during the next section? Load rules, minimum rider, any load. Okay, there it Try it with this. Stop test. Or do, can we, like, actually change that station itself? Okay, test, testing, stop test, start test. There we go. Now this one goes back to the station. Or wait, it didn't go back to the station. It just went to the next block section. Did I accidentally fill this whole thing with block sections? If so, that's my bad. But I'm not too worried about min-maxing right now, considering we've got 50 grand in the bank. I think we just have too many block sections. Or, you know, actually my problem is that's not drive tires. I guarantee it. To be fair to myself, I noticed this in advance. It can only be placed on flat and unbanked track. That destroys the block section? Or no, it was because the test was running? I don't know, dude. What is this? Here, delete, delete. You are a block section. Be a block section. Now, you're a drive tire section. Be a drive tire section. I think that this should work completely fine. So we're going to stop test, start test. There we go. Can you make it down the drivetrain? I'm hopeful that this doesn't compromise the, uh, no, you get stuck there again. It's auto-completing with regular track. I actually thought it would auto-complete with, uh, with drive tires, but apparently not. Now, start test. Here we go. Should begin, you leave the station, you move forward until you get to the station again. Oh my god, did Northern Lion just solve a problem with his own, or of his own volition? Yes, he did, except for the fact that it's not solved yet, because this is also not drive tires. Why would this not be drive tires? Can only be placed on unbanked track. It's unbanked. It's unbanked, my dog. I know, it seems unfathomable. Uh, is it because this is not straight or something? I don't understand. Like, even the game is like, I feel you, dude. This should be working. There you go, just snap it in. Okay, start test. Where is our other car? Stop test. Here we go. Now, you should drive all the way forward until you get to the... Uh, the station, other people should be able to get on and then you would launch. I would like to see you launch, but maybe you don't launch until the other ride enters the block station. No, you're going. Okay, life is good. Provided that people don't shit their pants when they come through this like turn here, I think that life is okay. Yeah, stats are still all in the green. Stealth is now open. We no longer have a ride entrance, huh? That's a surprise to me. little bit confused about about how this came to pass um 
I don't remember adjusting my station, but I will accept that this is a mild problem only. Information 8 has closed because our our vendor was unhappy with his life. There you go. Hideous, but functional. 98% Q. 735 prestige rating for reasons that are unbeknownst to me. We had 11,000 before. Or, sorry, 1,100 before. Um, but this is fine. Hopefully people start riding this again and we can get back to the days where this was good. Come on. You know you want to ride it. There we go. They're coming from all around. 20 bucks to ride it. It should become much more profitable because it's able to, you know, have two roller or two carts function simultaneously. I just want to watch it happen to ensure that it actually can uh, handle two cars and that it is making more money as a result. Obviously, we need some refurbishments here. Sorry for all the troubleshooting that had to be done there, but uh, now we can put a block section into every uh, every roller coaster we make from this point onwards. The problem is we are going to be launching some coasters without like a uh, without many people on them because we we set the minimum to zero. But we we could probably change that now if we wanted to. I do want to see more people getting in the queue here. The queue looks fast for stealth. There's no doubt about that. And we're up to ten twenty three. Okay, so we're we're back in this. That's awesome. I don't have enough money to go on stealth. I'll tell you what, we'll lower the price somewhat, even though it's doing fine. I don't want people to get a mood debuff because of that. And I do want to see how much money this can make in one full month of actually being open. The fact that we're able to actually send uh, two cars down the track simultaneously here, or near simultaneously, concurrently, is excellent. Dragons of Camelot is at a 9.59. That's not bad. I really like, as bad as the terraforming is in our swamp here, I really like uh, the way that this looks. I also like the fact that we've got 3,000 park attendees without actually uh, investing much into management. Just a memento tool looks busy. I'll try something else. Oh, we have two research projects that I should uh, check in on as well. So that is park management, research free spinning coaster and Mexalente. We made nine grand that month, which is awesome, but I don't think we've completed the challenge to make 7,700 off of coasters yet. Um, honestly, we should be researching like everything we can at this point because we got the money uh, required to make it happen. And I just saw that one of those projects, I'm pretty sure is our, um, one of those projects is, uh, Bumper Cars, which is a new uh, project that they just added. So I'm looking forward to building that. Bumper Cars were like always my favorite ride as a kid. Unfortunately, driving in Vancouver is uh, a little too real for me. Bumper Cars no longer uh, have that same appeal that they used to. So again, you know, we run a flat management structure here. All vendors make 200 bucks and should be happy with it. And if they're not, well, that's a personal problem, isn't it? Uh, can we sort by these? Not yet. I say not yet because I think that one day that may change. You're making 310. Janitor's making 150 and he's stoked? Look, you're promoted. A lot of low workload though. I'm surprised. None of our janitors have uh, high workloads. Although that'll probably change like in the immediacy right now. Nathan Drake's Uncharted is broken down. The Dragons of Camelot is broken down. That's fine. Uh, Nathan Drake's Uncharted. Yeah, they could use a refurbishment. Considering that we're making money, I'm happy with this. And I want to see, I just want to follow Stealth and see how much money it makes in one full month of being open and not broken down. So I'm going to wait for research to be done here and then we'll try to throw down like some bumper cars in a logical area over here. How is Roctopi doing as well? 500 bucks a month, that's not that bad. Roctopi is really good value. Shouldn't have said that because now it's $8. Quest a refurbishment there. $278 on Hamburger Island. But let's be honest, Hamburger Island is not a focus of my park. That's basically just a value add. The The month is almost over here. You can restrict your park, by the way, so you have a maximum number of visitors. And we may do that to try to get to the point where we actually have, uh, you know, not an awful frame rate, basically, is what I'm trying to say here. Uh... 
And we don't need to build another coaster anytime soon, but we do have 72,000 freaking dollars in the bank, so... Why would you quit, Garrett Belanger? You don't like working at the Hats Fantastic? Or did I... I didn't open it. Perhaps this will change it. Hats Fantastic, I think, is still a little bugged. People go absolutely apeshit over the hats. Maybe that has been patched out, but I saw some posts on the subreddit where people were like, I cannot handle the amount of hats available here. So how much money did Stealth make in its, its first full month? $336? That doesn't seem right. Anyway. Okay, do we have research ready to go? It should be ready in like less than a couple weeks here. Um, and we could invest in marketing, but I'm not going to invest in marketing. Because I think that that's the, you know, the first recipe for disaster here. Make sure everybody's getting promoted still. Low workload is what, what crushes their uh, happiness. Why are Garrett Belanger, you're so unhappy? My pay is fair. I've almost had it with this job. What's, why do you hate running Hats Fantastic? So where, if we're going to put down bumper cars or more family rides in general, where should we place them? I sort of think that, um, like here or here or here is a pretty good spot. Like, why not, um, I'm just going to terraform and, and flatten to the foundation here, but, um, why not... Throw down another ride here next to this gift shop. Dude, never let anybody tell you that Northern Lion doesn't run his park with his, like, guest best interests in mind. And not by guests, or, sorry, by guests I mean staff. I'm clearing a space to put down bumper cars because I want Garrett Belanger to not quit. I am actually moving heaven and earth to put down a roller coaster... Or at least a, a roller coaster might be a little heady, but to put down a ride so that he is no longer displeased with me. Okay, we can't delete rocks and uh, trees that are outside of our park. I know it's quite the twist that I'm deleting rides, or sorry, deleting trees instead of just uh, placing more of them, but come on, where's my research? Where's my research? I want to throw down these bumper cars. Multiple vendors have quit. Garrett Belanger, Hats Fantastic 9, A Taste of the Stars. Was it making no money? I guess this section of the park is not that popular anymore. Well, you know, it's a sign of the times. We'll leave the ATM. Which, you know, did get eight customers last month. But we can delete these for now and it'll only lead to more money for us. And I'm going to try to revitalize this area, although it's oftentimes a mistake. You don't get paid enough for this? Am I losing my mind? Why is the staff all of a sudden unhappy? You have a dream job! Uh, I'd like to... I'm going to try to throw, throw down the ride over here. Let's look at our challenges as well. Chief Beef Entertainer is unhappy. This is manufactured unhappiness. Our life as the, the operator of this theme park is so good, and yet you want to shit on it. Why is this? Let's look at it. park attendee happiness. It's so high. 98% love the park. This park is great. Great scenery. Dex R1 is the best. Just the Memento 2 looks busy. That's the only thing that's annoying people. Um, so I think I want to try to revitalize this area. This is where I ran into trouble recently. I think I deserve a raise. I can do more work than this. Sure. You're making 350 now. Rides. Bumper cars. Who doesn't like bumper cars? This is what I ask you. I also ask you if I'm talking about classics, does my name get brought up? Because I remember, I couldn't afford a Ford Escort or even a four-track recorder. So it's only right that I let the top drop on the drop-top Porsche convince myself that's important. Okay, there's the bumper cars. Place the entrance over here. Exit, obviously, seems to fit, like, right there. Connect the entrance to the path, but we should have a priority pass as well. Despite the fact that, um... 
nobody's buying priority passes. Anyway. We, might, we might not even have an information vendor that's open to sell priority passes. Chief Beef has quit. I, I'm actually... Did they patch in staff on happiness? You work at the happiest place on Earth and get paid more than like anybody else on the planet. Well, not on Planet Coaster, but anybody else on Planet Normal. And then you're like, oh, all of a sudden I'm unhappy. You've been watching The Secret Life of Walter Mitty again, haven't you? Getting hit with that existential N-way. I think that queue is fine. Um, we'll open it up here. And how much does it cost? Five bucks? That seems to me to be a relatively fair price for bumper cars. Operations, enable priority pass. Priority pass entrance. Priority pass exit. Now, you'll remember that this is a mistake that we made last time as well. You try to revitalize one section of the park. It's a losing game. It's a money pit. It's probably better to just build where demand already is. But the thing is, I uh, it's a relatively low cost endeavor here to build the bumper cars. We're going to throw down some trees. And I know that um, everyone's been making fun of my trees. But I didn't realize until recently that apparently you can actually change the color of the tree as you place it here. Um, somebody said just make sure you change the color of the trees and you'll be happier. You, you can't change the color of the trees. Okay, you know what? This is our winter wonderland section. We'll throw down some gingerbread houses. This is where, you know, autumn turns to winter. One of those trees has been safe, though. And we'll throw down, like, a gingerbread house or something as well, because we got scenery for that. Um, gingerbread house? We have gingerbread people. There's a gingerbread woman. These are the people that you're going to hit inside of the bumper cars. There's a gingerbread tree. Why is this Christmas themed? That's just a glorious question that I don't really have an answer to. Uh, I thought there was like, uh, go to like blueprints or something here. There's gingerbread houses. Candy collection. Christmas tree scene small. There you go. That's going to amp it up right there. What's the Q rating now? 80%. Pretty good. What do you do about that? Start throwing down some more trees. People are actually riding the bumper cars. So I feel like we have not done a piss poor job here. These are the Christmas cars. We'll rename them as well. I'm not saying it's the most popular ride in the park. I think that that is clearly false. But I am saying that it could possibly achieve our dream of uh, getting a little bit more interest in this section of the park. What's the character limit for a ride as well? Because I got a good name for this one, I think. 100% Q rating. Bumpin' Derby 1? No, this is the highway on December 23rd. Perfect. Hamburger Island is broken down. This is irrelevant to me. The research project, not irrelevant, though. Coal transporter. Canyon runner. Completely gyroscopic. The cube. I don't like this ride. Smashing the atom. The collider. I don't think we've ever built that one. That might be new. Get a classic fright. I think that'll allow us to build wooden coasters. I like wooden coasters. And we're making ridiculous money month over month. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. The highway on December 23rd is doing fine. We'll see if people start complaining about th hunger or thirst or something like that. How much money did Stealth make last month? Minus $21. It was broken down, right? Because I'm getting pissed that I may have made, you know, my own Rob's Redemption. A.K.A. a coaster that's, you know, functional but sadly completely unprofitable. Um, I think I want to throw down some more uh, rides because, quite honestly, they're cheap and easy to build. So, you know, I, I kind of feel like we can throw down something like the Collider right here. And it's not really 
in the theme of the lagoon, but that's okay. Maybe the forge is a little smaller. Yeah, the forge is smaller, so it's a better fit here. And we'll we'll theme it with some fantasy stuff because this is really like the border of the fantasy and um, not fantasy sections of our park. Now I'm not gonna spend too much time uh, trying to get the queue exactly right for something like this because. To be honest with you, this is not uh, a really important part of our park. This is just something to add a little bit more variety in general to its existence. So we're just going to have the cute serpentine like ever so slightly here. Roller coasters? I'm content to uh, invest a lot of time getting the cues on those perfectly because they're such a, a high cost. But something like this... I can live with that. Go. Might as well open it up. Operations. We'll enable the priority pass. Just because people don't feel like they've really... Uh, they're deserving their paycheck. Unless we get the priority passes actually selling and they quit because they're unfulfilled in their... You know, summer job here. Uh, okay. And then we're going to go scenery and we're going to grab maybe like some pre-made... Uh, fairy tale buildings. Just to make this area a little denser. Those are in buildings, though? They won't be in scenery. And again, this is kind of like... It's the border of our two towns. Of Pirate Town and Dragon Town. Obstructed? If you're obstructed, why aren't you red, I ask to you. Am I losing my mind? I, I, apparently, I'm losing my mind. You can place it there just fine. Then we have, like, small something. Small pirate house. Sure, okay, it's at the border, you know? We get all sorts of pirate diversity at the border. I mean, the pirates existed in the Middle Ages. This is fair. I just wish that they'll let me throw down the actual towers I wish to. Come on, I'm begging you. I guess it's too close to the track, maybe? Or it's literally on top of the ride. Okay, that one goes into the station. I have to check. We made 10 grand this month, which is awesome. But stealth, you only broke down at the end of the month. 519 bucks. Well, I guess it's not very profitable. I have to admit that uh, I've made a coaster that is not amazing from a, uh, a profitability standpoint. So we're gonna grab some more trees as much as this will pain you. And you know what, we'll use alpine fir trees this time. Just to mix it up a little bit as he places 15 of the same tree in the same location. Yeah, place a tree on top of another tree, like why not, right? Yeah, yeah, just keep stacking trees as high as the eye can freaking see. There's really just like a very small area where we can safely place trees back here. Um, yeah, throw it a single birch tree. That's how you know it's authentic. Don't worry, we'll, we'll delete those trees that are like OCD trees right now. This park is contributing like, its carbon footprint is fucking zero. We have like a negative carbon footprint here. Which is great, you know, this park is all about sustainability. I want to go on Forge 2. Forge 2 is really good value. No, this is not Forge 2. This is Purge Gamers Dota 2 7.0 experience. I want to go on Purge Gamers Dota 2 7.0 experience. That's, that's a joke made with love, Purge. That's a joke made with love. I just want to keep relevant with the memes that the kids are talking about these days. Um... Park management, research, reveal, magical moments on the magic twirl. I don't remember that at all. Uh, I do remember the sun flare, aka praise the sun. But we're gonna get a bunch of rides going here. And I also haven't looked at my staff in a little while. Make sure everybody's relatively happy. Getting trained. Max level entertainers get uh, 300 bucks. Man, remember how much time you used to spend managing staff in this game this is so much better pretty much everybody's got normal or low level workload right now uh 
I'm going, like, if our mechanics have low level workload, we could have them start maintaining rides more frequently. But I think what I'm just going to do is, I'm gonna, we got four janitors at normal, one janitor at, uh, at low. I'm going to hire another janitor. And I'm going to hire another entertainer because we just had King Coaster quit. Um, and, and we'll get ready to promote them as well. $105,000, huh? Who would have thought? Stealth is like, you know what? We got to charge more for it. It's just, it's not profitable. If it ever goes down, we're screwed. Um, my wife's life's work is still making money. Well, well, why don't we just go to the park management screen and, and look. Everybody's still happy. Just the Memento 2 looks a little too busy, though, which is debuffing people. 100% happiness in the park, though. So as long as we don't completely mess it up, I think we're going to be fine. Uh, stealth is losing money, but I think that'll change. Real Yankee Doodle also lost money last month. I think they both broke down. And then in terms of shops, everything's making money or at zero. Just the Memento 2 and the Hats Fantastics are killing it. Don't forget about Gordon Ramsay's Steakhouse. Information 8 is getting shit on, though. $2 priority passes. We might as well make them 10 bucks. I don't think anybody's going to buy them anyway. Jillian Carper is loving it because she can, you know, get paid nothing or get paid a bunch of money to do absolutely nothing. That change is starting today. We're selling priority passes now. And we have some rides that actually get value from priority passes. So I'm hoping that that uh, starts to be important here. Starts to be worthwhile, at least. So we got another coaster. It's probably wooden coaster. Yeah, that's good. Oh, my timer's been going on for two minutes here. Well, we'll start researching another coaster here. Tight inversions. All right, thanks for watching. A little bit of a an episode where we... Kept things pretty simple. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.